Micron Technology delivered spectacular quarterly earnings results that sent the stock price soaring over 16% on the day of the announcement. Now, Micron Technology is trading near record highs right now, so is it too late to buy Micron Technology stock? Of course, coming into the quarterly results, I had Micron Technology stock rated as a buy. Am I changing that recommendation after the stock price soared? Well, that's what I'll do in this video is update my quarterly and review the quarterly earnings results and update my buy recommendation for Micron Technology stock. So let's get into the earnings review first, and then I'll update my buy recommendation for Micron Technology stock. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Micron Technology stock is soaring 16.45% after the company announced phenomenal earnings results. So let's take a look at those numbers. Micron Technology delivered revenue of $5.82 billion, which was up from $4.73 billion in the previous quarter and $3.69 billion over the same quarter last year. So year over year, revenue increased by over $2 billion or nearly 66%, a phenomenal quarter to be sure. Gap net income of $793 million or $0.71 cents per diluted share. And the company delivered operating cash flow of $1.22 billion versus $1.4 billion for the previous quarter and $343 million for the same period last year. So year over year, operating cash flow nearly quadrupled. The company is saying that revenue, gross margin, and earnings per share came well above the higher end of our guidance range. So all of those three critical metrics were way above even their most optimistic expectations for the quarter. That's how good this quarter was. And Micron Technology saying the magic words every investor loves to hear. We believe Micron is one of the biggest beneficiaries in the semiconductor industry of the multi-year opportunity enabled by artificial intelligence. AI demand, that's what every investor wants to hear nowadays. Is your company benefiting from this growth in artificial intelligence? And Micron certainly is. As devices on the edge get adapted and added with enhanced AI technology, they're gonna need more memory and they're gonna need more storage. And that's all going to benefit Micron technology saying that AI demand and tight supply accelerate its return to profitability. The company was forecasting that it was gonna be negative in operating income for the second quarter, and then it wasn't gonna be positive until the third quarter, but it was ahead of schedule here delivering positive operating income in the quarter. As far as the outlook goes, the company is forecasting 6.6 .6 billion in revenue in its third quarter with earnings per share of 17 cents. That 6.6 .6 billion in revenue would be an increase from the current quarter where it delivered 5.82 billion. So not only was the current quarter excellent for Micron, but it expects that to continue at least for the next quarter. I mentioned already that the company was positive in operating income in the second quarter, which ended on February 29th. The company delivered $191 million in operating income compared to a $2.3 billion loss in the second quarter of last year. Remember, Micron is just now coming out of that cyclical bottom of the semiconductor industry. The slowing personal computing sales in 2023 really hurt Micron technology, and now it's rebounding strongly off those lows. In fact, analysts on Wall Street expect Micron to have two excellent years here in the current year, 47% revenue growth expected for Micron, and then for fiscal year 2025, 42% revenue growth expected for Micron. So the bottom certainly has set in and Micron technology is rebounding sharply off that bottom and you can understand why the stock is now trading at record highs after hitting the bottom. These excellent expectations going forward are getting investors excited about Micron longer term. Additionally, if we look at its cash flow from operations four to six months ended on February 29th, it more than doubled to 2.62 billion 
up from 1.286 billion in the same six month period the year before. So across the board, every critically important metric I look at, Micron over delivered in the most recent quarter and it's rebounding strongly off the bottoms. It's looking like an excellent investment to be sure. Now I've already had Micron technology stock rated as a buy. Am I keeping it there after this phenomenal increase? Well, the stock price is now trading at a forward price to earnings of 16.27, the highest it's been according to this metric all year. That being said, the company also has the best prospects it's had in the last two years. Remember last year, the company was in the middle of that cyclical downturn, was uncertain how long that was going to last. Now, it's in the early stages of a expansionary market that it's in a great position to benefit from so while the stock relatively speaking it's expensive to its <clears throat> excuse me to its own past at a forward pe of 16.27 that's not expensive especially when you're considering the company's going to grow at 47 percent this year and it's expected to grow at 42 percent for the next year as far as earnings per share goes the company was expected to lose 24 cents in earnings per share this year I wouldn't be surprised if this number is revised upward following the company's earnings per share uh, deliverance in the current quarter and the forecast for the next quarter. Already over the last 90 days, its earnings per share forecasts have been improving from a loss of 50 cents expected in 2024. That's improved to a loss of 24 cents. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the next few days and weeks, analysts upgrade their forecast for Micron technology earnings per share in 2024. Similarly, in 2025, its earnings per share forecast has been improving up to $6.90 is the current estimate. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if this is revised upward again up from the $6.39 in earnings per share expected 90 days ago. So as time is moving forward and Micron is outperforming its own expectations, analysts are upgrading their forecast for what they think Micron technology will deliver in the current year and in the next year. And these are being revised upward. Another AI company that's delivering better than expected results and analysts are upgrading their forecasts forward. And it doesn't hurt that the company's saying the magic words that demand is increasing because of artificial intelligence. So to update my recommendation for Micron Technology stock, I'm keeping it rated as a buy even after the surge in price following the earnings results. The surge in price was justified because revenue, gross profit, cash flow, all the critical metrics were better than expected and Micron is forecasting those trends to continue going forward. If you liked the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.